Let's let's read the scripture and Are ba lengle ntshula muthi Judges ba thudi 16 verse 19 verse 19 She made Samson sleep on her knees and she called a man and had him shaved off the seven braids of his head then she began to abuse Samson and his strength left him she said the philistines are upon you Samson and he awoke from his sleep and said I will go out and I have time after time and shake myself free for Samson did not know that the Lord had departed from him Then the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and they brought him down to Gaza and brought him with two bronze chains and he was forced to be a grinder of grain into flour at the mill in the prison but the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved off Now the Philistines Lord gathered together to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their God and to celebrate for they said our God has given Samson our enemy into our hands when the people saw Samson they praised their God for they said our God has handed over our enemy to us they ravaged off our country who kill who has killed many of us now when they were in a high spirit they said call for samson so that he may amuse us let's pray let's pray let's stop there let's thank you lord for this word in jesus name amen amen this week beke uh, i was with one of my son there nekina le omuru nwe wa barwa bakakwa I nearly revealed this message. Even him, we end up saying it out. Uh, because God has been speaking with me about one thing. Consistency. What is the meaning of consistency? It means staying the same having the same attitude staying the same consistency i found what happened to samson samson was in prison samson already you know what happened to him When the Bible says in verse 21. Ah Bible level letter ba tsana simola go verse 21. That verse 21. Re ka ya re o bala verse ela ba re ke 21. Yes. Ere. Then the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes. And they brought him down to Gaza and bound him with two bronzed chain. And he was forced to be a grinder of grain into flour at their mill in the prison. In verse 21, 21 the, the Bible is bringing Samson as a hopeless man. The man was in prison. His eyes were gouged out. In other words, he could not see the light again. He could not see the light. He is in prison. He could not see the light. And is working to turn around with the wheel grinding. The grain. And this grain, after he grind, he doesn't even see he's taken. And a grain I won't like I The Philistines were enjoying of his power. 
when himself is confined to four walls. Caged inside. Working for them. And the Bible says there was a time that they were celebrating. And they wanted to praise what their God has done. Because they knew Simpson, Simpson before. They knew what he could do. And they understood where his power Now they, they did cut where his power comes. And they knew it's over with him. And they didn't know that when Samson was turning around, when they were enjoying the grain, when they were celebrating, his hairs began to grow. Can you just read verse 22? Yes. But the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaved off. It was consistency. When Samson was turning that the Philistine thought it was over. Do you know that many people, they look at you. They see that what you are doing is one thing. It's over with you. Not knowing that you are about to destroy all of them. Not knowing that promotion is coming. Not knowing that God wants to defend. I want to tell you something. If the Philistine could not allow Samson to do one thing. They could recognize that his hair was... I don't know if you are hearing me. Sometimes when you are, you are doing one thing, you become mature somewhere. There are things which are growing. That devil knows if they grow, you are about to be something that will be devil always want to make sure consistency is when you are doing one thing. your christianity must have consistency focusing on one thing when you are being embarrassed and the Bible says when the hairs begin to grow, when the hairs mm. begin to grow, 23, 23. verse 23 says, uh -huh. Now the Philistines' lords gathered together to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon their God. Listen, listen to this. Why this is like happening occasionally. Because listen to this. Your enemies cannot gather together if, if you have not acquired something. If there is no power in you somewhere. When the hairs begin to grow, we hear the Philistine gather together. They want to celebrate, not knowing that the hairs were growing. They were not aware that the time of their defeat has come. Many times when you see people gathering together against you, it's a message to you that you are about to defeat the world. The Bible says they will come to you one way and they will run away seven ways. They must gather together. God allowed them to gather together. Stand against you. So that they 
will be difficult <laughs> at <laughs> the Don't feel small about <laughs> it. Don't feel defeated about <laughs> it. It's a token to you. <laughs> that there is a growth somewhere. When there is growth somewhere, <laughs> something <laughs> began to happen. <laughs> uh, Can you just read, continuing? Uh -huh. Now the Philistines, Lord, gathered together to offer a great sacrifice uh -huh. to Dagon their God and to celebrate for they said, Our God has given Samson our enemy into our hands. When the people saw Samson, they praised their God for they said, Can you hear that? Amen. Carry on reading. Our God has handed over our enemy to us. Listen, when the Bible says when they saw Samson, they began to praise their hey, God. But Have you ever find that when you pass, you hear people laughing at you? Praising their God. Say now, truly you are defeated. Hey, truly it's over with you. When they saw Samson, Samson they began to praise their God. You know, I even hate the name of their God. Their God's name was Dagon. Somewhere close to a dog. So close to a dog. It's like they wanted to say our God is dog. But in Arabian, it might be or another language there. Dagon. 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 But look what God did to them. I want to tell you something. I don't know how many people are against you. Don't worry when they celebrate. You will laugh at the last. Just carry on doing what you have been doing. Carry on doing. Carry on praying. Carry on reading. Carry on reading. The Bible. When, when, you're reading. Reading. when it looks like there is nothing that is happening for you, there is something that is growing. There might not be seeing that something is growing. But I'm here to tell you that there is growth that I see. That God is about to use in your life. We normally get despair and question. Why all these things are happening to us? Because we are turning around what place. Stagnation doesn't mean it's over. Stagnation means growth. You have been placed in one place for a certain victory that is coming. I see that victory in we read John 15, verse 2, verse 2 and 16. Every branch in me, that is verse 2, that does not bear fruit, he takes away. But every branch that continues, a branch that continues, that is consistency. Says, continue to bear fruit. He prunes. He prunes. He prunes. He prunes. In other words, there are things that looks like they are falling. Like you are losing. But it's pruning to you. That doesn't mean that you have lost. Because God wants you to get the best. Don't stop what you are doing. Every branch, every Christian. When he's ready to bear fruit and continue consistency in him I am will allow God to come and make to him to lose some things he loves most. Listen, losing things doesn't mean it's over. You are still going to lose things. 
Losing things doesn't mean it's over. If the best I can. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell them say, hey, the branch. Hey, Every branch. Hey, that continue. In other words, there's a level where you'll be challenged to stop. There are many Christians that have stopped to do what they were doing before. And such Christians were so powerful. But they have stopped. Listen, your progress is in continuing. If you carry on doing what God wants you to do, it looks stupid, but you are going there. It looks like you're a failure, but you are going there. Learn to continue. In fact, you need to increase. If you are praying one hour, pray to hours. Stay there. Don't promote yourself. Just be yourself. When, when you are doing the ordinary, and live the extraordinary God. We love to do extraordinary things. We are making mistakes. It's time to stand your ground. Can you stand your ground? Because God is pruning you. I can see God is pruning you when you are losing that relationship. He's pruning you when you are losing that job. He's pruning you. But stay the same. One of our problems today is uh, even told some people that you are not praying because we pray because of something. We pray because we want to get something. Get out from getting things because when you are losing those things you are losing those things of your process that God wants to take you to greatness. You look like you are down here but it's not over with you. Because God has destined you for great heights and you cannot go to those heights with what you have in here. You know, I remember when I was still working. I was working in Florida. Florida. And then the money that I was earning was very small. And then my wife was home. So I was sitting, I was sitting 150. <laughs> that time, I was sitting 150. And if my 50 ran to my mom. And I was left with 50 rand. Look, what, how much was my salary? You can hear that. My salary was very small. But when I was there, this white man was very close to me. You know what? I didn't know that I have to hold on to be there to get the experience that was needed to in Pretoria, where I was Pretoria. Going. But something tells you, don't stop. Because you're looking at the Sabbath. Just carry on. Going there. When you're going there, you're about to get us something from there. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. When I was busy going there, I, I, found, I got some experiences that I felt like, no, no, this is time that I have to search for another job. You, because, you know, when promotion comes, you hear it by some growth, not, not just outside, but inside you. So I could feel inside me that I'm not longer accommodated where I was. So it's better I move now. When I move towards Pretoria, I found another job that makes me better at the time. I realized that all my experiences and the delay I faced were not, were not a waste. Can you tell them and say, hey, stop, stop stopping. Stop stopping. Stop stopping. Stop stop stopping. Stop stopping. Allow delay to work it out. Allow delay to work on you. That's the reason why you are here. So that you are here. So that you are here. So that you continue with what you believe in. Are you hearing me? I don't know if you are hearing me. Are you hearing me? 
Listen, in the process of delay, don't stop. In the process of failure, don't stop. Don't know what you're facing, but don't stop. Carry on doing what you have been doing. The Lord of mercy will open a door for you. Can you just read verse 16? Verse 16. You have not chosen me, uh -huh. but I have chosen you, and I have appointed and placed and purposefully planted you so that you would go and bear fruits and keep on bearing, and that your fruit will remain and be lasting, so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, as my representative, he may give to you. Did you hear that? This scripture was explaining yesterday. Number one, you are chosen. Number two, you are not just chosen, you are appointed. But you are placed somewhere purposely. Purposely, you are to do what? To or fulfill Lydian. his purpose. You know, the, the scripture that I was looking at was purposefully. In other words, where you are, where you think, nothing will happen. The purpose of God is fulfilled. What you have to know, you are there to continue to purpose. And your fruits will remain. When the fruits are remaining, it means you are there for lasting results. You are there for longer time. You are there for promotion. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know, when I was thinking about this, I asked myself, I was born in this family of Makananisa. I've never seen somebody like me. In Makananisa family, there's no handsome people. But me, I'm very much handsome. But my, 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 my handsome <laughs> My hand so meaty was not like that before. There was no difference. When I was with them, I mean brethren. but it took me to do one thing so that when they are moving, forward, when I'm left behind, the one who's coming behind will be the one to take me forward. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know, God, many times, he doesn't come in front of you. He comes behind and says, get up, you can make it. Get up and move forward. Don't stop what you're doing. When I start to follow Christ, it was like I'm in one place. Everybody went forward. And they were talking. And they were talking. And sometimes God will tell me what they're talking. And sometimes God will tell me what they're talking. I carry on turning around like Samson. Turning around like Samson. Doing one thing. Every week I fast for days. Every week I fast for days. I begin to see ah. Why am I seeing baboon there? Oh, this beautiful woman. Why am I seeing this? Why am I seeing this? I begin to see things. And I realize that someone was behind me has caught up with me and I'm able to run better than a wako. You cannot do what other people can do if you want to use your intellectuals. Can you be stupid? You do one thing. Just be stupid. Do one thing. Be stupid. You know, you know listen, mm. listen. Listen to this. When I was I was doing metric, one teacher asked me, "What is it that you want to do?" I said, "Mathematics." Because in mathematics I could get hundred. 
I say, I want to do mathematics, that man laughed at me. Say, there's no course called mathematics. There's, you know, there's, no, there's nothing called, you know, you are going to be mathematics. No, there's, no there's, no mathematics. there's no degree called mathematics. I say, because I can do one thing. I realized that my focus was on one thing. To so extend that I will forget other subjects. I will be focusing on one thing. And I excel on that. I want to tell you something. Yes. 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 Because your focus is there. You move from this one to this one. Because you are excelling. You move from this shorter one to talk. From there you go outside. You cross the border. You are excelling. You are excelling. You find that you have a very big deal. You are excellent. Your focus is there. Today you need to build your focus. You continue on one thing. You will hear the noise behind you. But you say, I cannot stop on what I'm doing. I want to continue on one thing. I'm hearing people talking. But it's not part of me. My focus is here. I'm continuing in one thing. If you do that, God will check who's focusing on one thing. Which one? Which one is focusing? So, that woman, that man. Let's choose that person. You are the determiner. For heaven to choose you. For his you are the determiner. You need to change something. I can give you an example of what is happening to you. When you are busy praying, pray, pray, pray. you hear your phone, catch up. You are very old. We are tall. The one who was listening to you. Yo, la na utele diche pa pale udi mung. Yo, we le phone ni. Who is important here? Who is important here? You are failing in your focus. Re pale lo amor le bele chiu. The moment when the phone rings, so you can wait. And while your phone is on, and why phone is only on? Put it off. Go it, me. Because you want to build your focus. And continue until your heart says yes. Let me show you from scriptures. Those you will think I don't have scriptures. Matthew seven. Matthew seven. Verse 24 to 27. Wow. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Verse 24 to 27. So everyone oh, molly, oh, molly. who hears these words of mine yeah, and acts on them Ashuma, will be like a wise man. Yes, far-sighted, practical, Sensible man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell. And the floods. And the torrents came. And the winds blew and slammed against that house. Yet we did not because it has been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish stupid man will be his house on the sand and the rain fell and the torrents came and the wind blew and slammed against the house and great and complete was its fall. Jesus was speaking about consistency. He says, you children of God you have the word of God. When you build yourself by the word of God, the wind will come. Anything will come. But don't change. Stay in that word. 
You know, the moment when you get the word, you stand by it. You are, you are calling the attack for that word. I don't know if you're hearing me. Temptation will come because of that word. And now listen, when you stand by the same word, when the wind blew, torrents come. You find that you are still standing on the road. It means you are building yourself on the rock Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is our rock. Build yourself on Jesus' foundation. If you build yourself on Jesus' foundation, you will receive the fruits. You will show up the fruits of Jesus. The Bible always tells us that if we believe in him, we'll do what he has done. How can we do what he has done when we don't have his foundation? How can we do what he has done when we don't have his foundation? How can we do what he has done? When the wind blew, and we found ourselves not having foundation of God's word, which is the sand, we fall down. This is the time of rising up. I don't know if you are hearing. Sometimes, when you say you are a Christian, don't ever think it will be easy. No, Christianity is not about. I receive the blessing. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. No. no, it's more than that. Before the blessing comes, the wind must come. Your consistency determines the blessing you need to let me say it again. Your consistency determines the blessing you are about to receive. There are certain things that you, 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 can, you, can, you can't receive or go through until you are able to stand your ground. Yeah, I don't know if you are here. So sometimes, uh, you know, many people are praying. I've been observing them. They are praying, God, open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. God, look in your consistency. Say this person. The day you say amen, you finish. And you have not seen anything. Don't ever think God didn't hear your prayer. God heard your prayer. He's still checking you. Your genuineness. Do you understand what you are praying? Are you constant on that? Because, listen, because your prayers will be more demanded when your eyes are open. I don't know if you are hearing me. So now you have to be that person before you become. Now you have to be that person before you become. God will allow you to have that opportunity to be prepared before you enter there. That opportunity to be prepared before you enter there. I don't understand if you understand what I mean. Like so God will allow you to go through that. Because listen, there are certain things that he wants to show you. And those things you cannot tell anyone. So now he will allow you not to tell you. So that you see what you are doing as important. It's as much as you. you Money normally is wasted by people who have never worked for it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? So you who knows how to wake up in the morning, go to work, what, what, what? You cannot waste that way because you know how you got it. You got it through pain. So consistency demands pain. You got it through pain. So consistency demands 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 p
deserve it. If not, someone deserves it. Better than me. That's why there's a lot of exchange. In the Sometimes spirit. God will say, No, I wanted this one. Let's replace it. Let's give it to this one. I don't know if you're hearing me. This is the time that you built up your focus of consistency in the things that you were doing. And you carry on doing. And the Lord will establish you. I see the Lord establish you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you ready to be built by God? Let me show you another skill. I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you here. Look 3, verse 8. Look at 3:8. Therefore, Shanonghe. Produce fruit that is worthy of consistent with your repentance. Did you hear that? Therefore, produce fruit that is worthy and consistent with your repentance. Turn from sin and seek God. And his righteousness. Can you see the verse? And do not even begin to say to yourself as defense, we have Abraham our father. As our heritage, as of salvation. For I say to you, that from these stones, God is able to raise up children as descendants of Abraham, Abraham, regardless of their heritage, those who are obedient. I was reading this scripture that, you know, these people were saying, ah, no, we, we have Abraham. We are bound to be children of God. To be a child of a pastor, doesn't bound you to be a pastor. Doesn't bound you. I don't know if you're hearing me. You are, you are not bound. Even you, who's a child of a pastor, you have your own test. Don't even use the name of your father. My father is a pastor. My father is a Christian. No, 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 no. Everyone is demanded. Because God is able to raise the useless things and make them descendants. That's what the Bible So a child of, of a pastor is limited also to get down. Get down. I was hearing some people say, you know, we are... We are enjoying the blessing of our parents as a nation. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Can I tell you something that you don't know? If you are blessed with the inheritance, you are poor. If you are blessed by inheritance, you are poor. You have not known much. So God must take you to, to a level of a need. You learn what is the meaning of being a need. So you will be able to maintain. You will be able to maintain. I have a son here. My son, I treat him like everyone else. Sometimes I even forget I have a son. It's not that I, love, I don't love him. But, but I want him to know that God can raise stones if his focus has been taken. I don't know if I hear him. You know, you people, you talk about spoiling people. Spoiling children. Spoiling children, spoiling children is needed. You must spoil your children. But don't forget the rod. 
Don't forget the road. When they go out of the way, you are trying to channel them to have a focus that is required. I don't know if you're hearing me. When, when you are mature enough, you will know what you shall be. How would you feel it? What if you were not good at all? You will know. Now this my my child now needs a shampoo. Now you understand. If you get children that you don't beat, one day they will beat you. 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 Like myself now, I'm I'm training soccer because my son, I saw my son is training so that when he make mistake, I beat him again because because nah, nah, no, okay. if, if, if you become rock. very much strong and ah, weak, I will clap him with a sponge clap. He will just say, oh, the clap of the day has changed. I, I can do whatever I can do. Uh, I don't know if you are here what I'm trying to say. Huh? I hear what I'm trying to say. It is time now that we do like what Job did. You know what Job did? Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read. I love Job, chapter one, verse four to five. 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 His sons used to go in turn and feast in the house of each one of his day on his day, and they would send word and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. When the days of their feasting were over, Job will send for them and consecrate them, rising early in the morning and offering burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Job did this at all such at all such times did you hear that amen job could not do this at once job after the party you know this job, job was so rich that, job was so rich that his children can have party almost two weeks two two months. Months. two months they have party another one another one another one And then they invite those three guys. There were seven boys. But we are going to party. And to extend that, he was rich. To extend that, he never wanted to be in the party of how much are they spending. Na sanya kuluzi vore ba fecha boka ya banchi ba diami leto yewe ya vone. He was so rich to extend that. Na kumile. The party to him was like buying a bread. Moleto wuye na na uli susana lo reka vrot. And the Bible says, but after they finish part, you wake up in the morning. Think about two weeks. Two this man waking up for his children. These children might not be knowing that all this thing they are enjoying is coming. Let me stand on their behalf. But I must do that all the time. All the time to extend that day fell complaint. Do you know that devil didn't find what he can say about <laughs> this? He dealt with him himself. Tell with his wife. Tell with his children. To extend that Satan when he came. Because his children were not doing that by themselves. He was able to attack all the children. The children were attacked by Satan. And defeated Satan. them because they could not see What his father was doing continually. They were supposed to have wake up one day with the father. As a father, you are doing this. Let's do that together. But the Bible said there was a day where there was a thunder. Even all of them died. One left to report. One left to report. One left to report. 
And the Bible says that yeah, Bible. this man never insulted God. I've been faithfully following this God. Doing one thing. So I cannot blame God. It's the will of God. I'm beginning to understand that why we blame God. Because we are not faithfully following him. We, we don't have consistency. It is time now to stand our ground. Even when we lose, we say, thank you, it is your will. As somebody says, what is it that you are doing all the time? Someone say, I'm drinking tea. If you are able to drink tea, can you drink it with a Bible? The time of drinking tea. You put your tea here, you put your Bible, you put your notes here. You are ready. You drink tea. Another one is just coming to church. With the Bible, you have never opened the whole week. When you reach your home, your Bible goes like this. And you expect God to bring the better results. You want fruits that will remain. Never. It won't happen. You know, uh, I was telling Mama that it's so strange what I'm seeing now. I saw my spiritual father. For a long time, I have not seen my spiritual father. But I've seen him like I, I can see he's alive now. And uh, I even explained to Mama that the way I'm seeing. He came mama. here and show me where I'm supposed to clean. And he said, can you see there? Clean. Go so clean. So I began to clean with him. I saw some Christians. Who are here. <laughs> and go say, clean this place. And then I cleaned that place. So my spiritual father was there. When we finished cleaning, it disappeared. But already he showed me another place. To so can you see that place? Did you clean? And clean, clean. And this place can be clean. To we'll see what will happen in the church. So I'm going to clean that place. And get look to clean that to And carry on focusing. Cleaning. Clean. Sometimes God also wants you to clean something. Focusing on cleaning. There are things that I have got stains. Those things were there for long time. Left some stains. Now you have removed them by confession. But the stains are God then clean. And and remove them. And you will see yourself moving to heaven. Sometimes you feel like you are going back. Because the stains are there. You feel like, no, 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 man, I'm righteous. I cannot do it. I cannot do it, like, but the stains are there. So if you remove those stains, you will be what God wants you to be. Sometimes you just find a Christian. The person is angry. You ask, why are you angry? But no way. I don't know why. All along, we are now. We are always in love now. The love is gone. I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. Today? Nasi. You are loving me by your eyes only. You are loving me because by your the mouth. Are there. there are things you need to remove. If you can't unloving this person, loving your God, loving, 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 you will see, you will see victory. I want to tell you that when Satan visits you, he tries to resurrect what you used to do in the past. Don't accept. Carry on doing one thing. Carry on doing one thing. The Lord is with you. He will take you there. If you are hearing me say, I hear you. I'm, I'm just looking here. I'm looking some stains. No, the devil is taking advantage of those things. Entering there. You know, I wanted to use my own language to introduce those things. No, intrigue is a red language, but I'm just trying to use my own. To intrigue. 
and make those things to rise up. Sometimes the lion comes up. Sometimes you are separate. Are you a lion now? Now you are like this now. Now you are beginning to hate now. Now the words just come out from your mouth with the control. Something is wrong with you. If you don't accept, you will change. Accept that as God's forgiveness, God will help you to move forward. It might be the thing that is stopping your prayer. If you are hearing me say it. Let me just read a few scriptures with close. I've spoken too much. Paris. Verse 12. Verse 12. I love to say Aris. Psalm 119, verse 2. Verse 2. Jesus. Blessed. Psalm 119, verse 2. Blessed and favored by God are those who keep his testimonies and who consistently seek him and long for him with all their heart. Blessed. Favored. I want to tell you something that I know your heart won't accept it, but it's true. I want to tell you that. When you are in the process of seeking God all the time, doing one thing, doing one thing, I want to tell you, even if you say a wrong word, it becomes a right word. Because seeking God all the time makes you to be one with him. That even when you say something and you feel what you said was wrong, you'll be very much surprised it is right. You can be a prophet of yourself. I don't know if you're hearing me. Longing in your heart every day. I need him. I cannot stand without him. Not long I found that, you know, we don't know that standing like this is a miracle. Two feet standing. Do you see the animal need for? Standing by two. That's a miracle. And now, you know, God will show you that the leg, which is so light sometimes, will show you it's important. So you need God all the time. Because whatever that is all about you is a miracle. Blessed. Favor. Blessed. Like myself, if I say, this, this thing will happen there. Because I'm constantly searching for him. To happen. It will really happen. Now, I want to tell you something. Let me just pray that today you understand, understand that you to change the utterance of your mouth to make whatever you speak coming to pass doesn't come from prayer. It, it comes, comes from lifestyle. Many people are praying out the wrong character. Not their own character. If we are supposed to pray their, their, their own character, we are supposed to be mentioning demon and Satan. But they talk about God. God, you're so wonderful. They are supposed to say, demon, you are wonderful. Because the character they are showing is from demon. I don't know if you are hearing so you, you need to know that your lifestyle matters. That's why me, uh, I'm becoming a fool. That is why I give a style. I want to be a fool of loving my wife. Fool of loving a fool. F O O L. Fool. F O O L. If you want to add O, it's fine. Huh? 
If you want to add another O, add O, whatever, but I will be that. Why? Because I know the meaning of it. You won't understand the meaning of something until you do it incomplete. If you are doing it sometimes, you won't understand it. I don't know if you are hearing me. I know there are some people here. You are still angry to each other. Satan has entered. Satan Remove, him. Remove him. You don't need him. There's one thing you can do. And you carry on doing. Carry on doing. Carry on doing. foolish on that. Look stupid on that. Carry on doing. Soon, God will visit you and tell you the meaning of why you're doing that. So you are favored. You are blessed. blessed. Let's read the last scripture. First John 3, 22. First John 3, 22. It says, mm -hmm. And we receive from him whatever we ask because we carefully and consistently keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight meaning habitually seeking to follow his plan for us. Read that verse again. Listen to that verse. And we receive from him whatever we ask because we carefully... No, no, listen. Yeah, the Bible didn't say some of the things we ask. Did you hear that verse there? It says what? Whatever we whatever ask. Whatever we ask. Why? Read. Because we carefully because we and carefully? consistently uh -huh. keep his commandments and that? do the things that are pleasing in his sight. Stop there. Stop there. I want you to understand that why we are not getting answers in our Can prayers. You why to petulo modi this is the verse. Let's go home and check ourselves. The Bible says we receive whatever we ask. If we ask aeroplane, aeroplane, it will come. If we ask anything, shut it down because we carefully and we are really having sufficient We are there. Our focus cannot be taken by anything. Me, I was thinking about uh, what is it that you want. If it's not happening, be constant. Relax and be constant. 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 Consistency. Consistency. Let us all stand.